Hey there! So we've been getting quite a lot of requests on making a weekly timetable just like we did one for NEAT. So here's a video for that. Before I start explaining you the detailed uh, week-wise plan, I'll first tell you something about the examination, the pattern and everything. It's a 200 mark paper. You have two sections. Section 1 is going to be Maths or Bio. Section 2 is going to be Physics and Chemistry. In Section 1, for Maths, there will be 50 questions, 2 marks each, 10 from the 11th syllabus, 40 from the 12th syllabus. For Bio, you're going to have 100 questions, 1 mark for each, 20 from the 11th syllabus and remaining 80 from the 12th syllabus. So that includes both Zoo and Botany. In the paper 2, in section 2, you're going to have physics, that's going to be around 50 questions, 10 from 11th, 40 from the 12th, chemistry, again 50 questions, 10 from 11th and 40 from the 12th syllabus. So the 11th topics are going to be the ones which are related, like current electricity, it's there both in 11th and 12th, then you have uh, uh, limits, continuity, that's again going to be both in 11th and 12th, trigonometry, both 11th and 12th, so only those topics which has a connection in both the standards is going to be coming for the examination. When you begin solving section 2, that's physics and chem, I would suggest you begin with the chem part first, that's from question number 51 to 100. Because solving chemistry will be a little more faster as compared to physics, so you'll have more time towards the physics paper. Both section 1 and section 2 is allotted 90 minutes, that's one and a half hour, to complete the entire paper. No negative marking, no options as of now. So when you're practicing, make sure you have the reduced syllabus in hand. The state of Maharashtra has issued uh, the deleted portion for both 11th and 12th. And also when you're practicing, use techniques like elimination method, substitution method, quick calculation. See what question, uh, see what options do not fit the requirement of the question. See what you can delete, eliminate before you apply the equation or before you apply the formula. For the ones who are doing maths, your calculation has to be extremely fast and quick. So do not sit and wait that during the examination time, during the mock test time, you're going to practice these quick calculation methods. Do it on a daily basis. So that's when your speed will be faster and that's when you'll master these techniques. So here's your syllabus. Uh, as you see, there are the first few chapters that I have mentioned here is for the 11th uh, till here. Even here till here is the 11th and then follows with the 12th portion. Here you have till 11th and again here the 12th, here again till 11th and here again 12th. And if you check, most of the chapters are the ones which has some way uh, interconnection with the 12th topics. So this is your entire syllabus for the MHCT, 11th and 12th, including both. Now let's see the week-wise uh, timetable plan. Here's the list of chapters. Uh, here you have till week 5. As you can see in physics and chemistry, there's around three chapters on an average on a weekly basis. For the ones who are doing maths, also you have some two to somewhere two chapters and somewhere you have one chapters if they are quite big enough. Your bio for the ones who've taken PCMB. I have arranged it uh, giving more importance to the important chapters first and then comes the chapters which have less weightage. So this is for first five weeks, then you have then you have for the next five weeks here. As you can see, the chapters are allotted as per their weightage. And lastly, the last remaining six weeks. Yeah. So your entire syllabus should get over within 16 weeks. So let's see what we can do on a daily basis. Here. Yeah. So on daily basis, you'll be investing around nine hours nine hours daily out of which for the ones who are doing pcb you will invest one hour for each subject in reading reading is extremely important you will be investing one hour each that's like three hours on daily basis for reading the remaining five hours you will invest in solving the mcqs and the last one hour, you'll be doing, studying, revisiting the concepts that you are not very sure about. Maybe your weaker concepts, 
your weaker concepts some more formulas some table some diagram the things that you made mistake while practicing in the mcqs for that particular day that's what you will do in the last one hour for the pcm students you will invest two hours in reading this that's your physics and chem and approx 30 minutes you will invest in learning the formulas of the chapter that's allotted for that particular week so here you don't have to read anything in maths but you will invest that much time in learning the formulas some important statements some conditions that's been given so that you will allot uh, for that we'll allot only 30 minutes not more and the remaining time remains the same five hours for solving mcqs here we can increase it up to six hours and one hour approx one one and a half hour in revisiting the weaker concepts the formulae the concepts that you need more attention on now for the mcqs how many mcqs will we solve on daily basis for bio you will do around 50 mcqs for maths you will be doing around 50 mcqs for chem in both places you will do around 40 mcqs physics you will do around 10 mcqs and as the weeks go increase the 10 mcqs to 15 try reaching a space uh, try reaching a point wherein you can do around 15 to 20 mcqs in physics on a daily base so these many mcqs you will solve every day so for the first six days so for the first six days of the week you will divide the topic in concept points and every day you will pick up one particular topic so you'll divide the topic concept wise and every day pick up one particular concept and you will solve mcq based upon that particular concept on the seventh day just like how we had planned the neat uh, timetable on the seventh day you are relearning everything that was allotted for that particular week you're relearning you are solving more questions here now if possible solve at least 15 mcqs from each subject you can take a test you can solve some mock papers of that particular concept so on the last day you cannot just leave yourself free you need to relearn everything what you've learned solve more mcqs and take a test if possible okay now if this is if it's the first week as we go week on week for example for the second week for the second week on the seventh day that's on sunday you will relearn not only the concepts of that particular week but also for the first week so every week on the seventh day try revising the concepts that were allotted for the previous week so you're going to repeat the concepts again and again repeat learning them again and again this will make sure that you remember the concepts for a very very long time okay so this is the this is the plan for the 16 week it's similar to the one that we have planned for the NEET in hours daily studying whether you are PCB student or whether you are a PCM student nine hours on daily basis you will be studying you need to force yourself to do five hours of MCQ solving there's no negative marking here so that's like a plus point but you should in work on your speed you should work on solving the mcqs at a very fast rate use the method of elimination substitution and try using shortcuts in solving the sums especially in maths and physics okay so that is so that's it for this particular video remember to share this with as many people as possible and see you soon